Rimporcio, topvelocity.net. This is a 3x pitch biometric analysis for Sunny. This is um, going to be in her fast pitch delivery. All right, we're going to start with the initial load here. We look into the hip angles. We look at hip flexion, which is the blue check mark 137. A lot of flexion there for Sunny. Um, so she's really loading the posterior chain, which is good. And then we can see as she comes up, <coughs> she she kicks out of that movement really well. So she, the, the load and then kick couldn't be better. She also times the arm path um, and, and turns the trunk uh, with that movement. So uh, everything's great up to here, but we, we're coming out of extension of the drive leg too quickly. It's why um, Sonny's losing power. So if we look at the ankle extension, knee extension, we can see on the drive leg ankle, which is going to be the yellow, is it a minus 18? Okay, so there's, there's obviously some dorsiflexion, but you can see it's at 23, and then right here with full extension that leg, it's slowly coming out of extension. I would want to see a really aggressive kick at that point. Um, so the thing is, is when you when the trunk comes up, just be careful of lifting the the hips up too high. I would want to keep the hips low as I move through the leg kick, um, so I don't get an extension of that back leg because the back leg extension started at you know 94 and then at the point we needed leg drive it was at a 44 it was almost extended so we're losing extension in the drive leg which is why we're not getting a lot of power out of it so <clears throat> if we look at the hip ang angles right here we see still a lot of flexion on that front leg at 85 uh, but not a lot of extension on the back leg here it am I only a three degrees. I would like to see the hip continuing to push forward because you're keeping your center of mass lower, your hips lower um, as you move into that. Uh, coming out of leg extension or leg kicks, you can start driving that back leg. So we're going to see in the kinematic sequence. It's very different here than what we see with like overhand throwing. But you're seeing like the trunk speeds going backwards and the hip speeds going backwards. That's because the hip is counter rotating, which is good. But then hitting front foot right here is when the hip rotation starts and you can see the, the hip speeds are now faster than the trunk speeds. I would like to see the hip speeds going off in a separation, meaning that that red dot and that green dot are farther apart but I'd want to see the trunk speeds picking up. So the hip speeds are faster than the trunk speeds, and we want to see that power continuing up the chain. You can see the, the trail arm also is peaking in the backswing, which is fine, um, but potentially if there was more hip drive, we would, we would more than likely either see the speeds keeping up or coming back around and peaking higher uh, than it was in the backswing. So. The kinematic sequence is off. You can see when it starts rotation, the hips aren't um, fully opening to, we can see, the, and then the trunk is peaking earlier and not peaking higher than the hip speeds. If we look at the linear speeds, we can see coming out of the leg kick, the hip barely peaking here. You see that little red hump right there, barely peaking and then hitting front foot and just kind of sh shutting down moving forward. That's why, because there's not a lot of rotation. And then the trunk speeds continue to move forward really well here. So you, you kept your trunk moving forward. Um, it just wasn't peaking in rotation. So you were getting energy in it forward, but I'd still ideally to make this all work better, I would want to get into a forward trunk position at front foot strike or I, I would want not want to be in a forward trunk position. So I'd want the chest, see it's 27 degrees forward in the green check. I would want it to be zero um, at this point. And then as 
before the arm came forward. You can see it pushing forward here. It's going 27 to 32, but I would have liked it seen it going from 0 to 32. A lot more speed, and that would be dictated more by the hips getting through, so the hips aren't getting through well. And why aren't the hips getting through well? Because there's not a lot of drive out of the back leg driving the back hips through. So we got to keep that the hips lower, get more extension drive out of the back leg. So when we hit front, the hips pop through before, and then that should allow the trunk to stay back longer and then peak more trunk going forward. Now, if you see in the front view, your hip position looks like you're even losing stability back there because of that lack of power. So if we look at the pelvis orientation, you can see it's, it's lateral one degree. We'd want it to be T, it's L1. So it's one degree dipping down. I would want to see it up. If that leg was driving better, that hip would be cocked up and then you'd have more stability in that back hip helping drive your trunk and back, back arm through. Um, so, and, and like I said, poor hip rotation. So if I look at the hip rotation, it's at, see, it gets to 90. Actually, it's showing it different here. So that's 45. So we, we're trying to get to like, it, it should be, this should be zero at this point. I'm looking at the red pelvis rotation. That should be zero because you can see it's perfectly lined up. Um, I think 45 is at zero. And if it got through here, that should be, um, it's trying to get to zero. So it's gone about 20 degrees in rotation. I would want it to see, I want to see it go um, all the way completely around. So I think this measurement is a little off mainly. It's just because um, it started in the 20s as opposed to zero and then it turned. So I think it's just measuring counter rotation. It's trying to get back to zero. I think it's trying to get to zero. So it's about 20 degrees. Sh it's about, yeah, it's about 20 degrees short of zero. Actually, no, I'm confused. It's all over the place. All right, I'm not going to use that metric. So what I'm talking about mainly is, I'll draw it out, is it's starting closed. So it started off closed. And then ideally, before the arm comes through, I would want that hip completely square to the target, if that's the target over there. So we need all that rotation. It's about going this far and stopping. So that means there's not enough power behind it through this back leg, because the front leg is just kicking and actually closing the hip off. So if you watch the front leg, when it kicks, the hips close, so that means the back leg has to push the back hip through. Also, landing front leg helps accelerate that too, and you see it's just barely getting through. So that's really the culprit here. If we can stay loaded longer in that back leg by not standing up too early, and then getting power through the back leg, through the back hip, into the leg kick, and then landing with the trunk farther back and the hips more stable, then we should carry more trunk energy up the trunk and, and get that trunk to really accelerate, accelerating the arm speed. So I think that gives you a, a good amount of things to work on.